day or night, you could send me a tweet either at John for Lakers or at Techno Buffalo. Just use hashtag Ask the Bean. We'll pick four or five depending on the week. Up this week, it's all about Google Glass, next gen iPhone, Apple TV, and what my favorite tech of all time is. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's start asking. First question comes from Twitter at Dallas Henley asks at John Four Lakers, when do you expect Google Glass to go public, and how much do you think they will cost? Uh, so the answer is probably not very soon, and way less than fifteen hundred. Uh, the Explorer program is opening up to more people. Pretty much anybody who wants it can get in, but fifteen hundred dollars is crazy. Now Google Glass has gotten a bit of a tough reputation. Uh, users are being called anything from glass holes. They're being banned in some restaurants. Uh, people need to remember this is not a consumer product quite yet. Uh, they're partnering with Oakley and other glasses manufacturers to make it sort of more consumer friendly, look less computer on your face-ish. Uh, I would wager that we'll hear more about Google Glass come I.O. time, but I don't think we're going to see a production version uh, until probably early 2015. I would wager about half price off that $1,500 would be where we'll see. So between seven and 800 bucks, I think is going to be the final cost. Probably as much as you would expect to pay for an unlocked top of the line cell phone, I think is really where the market can tolerate. I don't think we'll see anything any more than that. So next question comes from Twitter as well, at emery 99 Eunice asks at John for Lakers, what killer feature do you think the next gen iPhone would have? I don't know if you think that means would have or should have, but here's what I'm hoping. Screen, please bigger screen. I know Android phones have had it forever, uh, but a giant screen size, at least anything bigger than four inches would certainly be a killer feature, I think for a lot of iOS faithful, perhaps a lot of Android users who jumped ship from iOS because they wanted a bigger screen size. Uh, I've said this every year, it's like a broken record come iPhone time, but a redone iOS that gives you a quick way to view information, uh, some way similar to live tiles on a Windows phone uh, or widgets on Android. There has to be a quicker way to view information than opening up an application to get to it. A notification center doesn't do it for me. The pull down doesn't give me information I need. Some way to quickly view information, maybe some way I have apps running. If I could take any feature from Android and port it, it would be the widget system. I think uh, Google nailed that one, knocked it out of the park. I would love some way to be able to do that. You had many applications um, on an iPhone. But end of the day, a bigger screen would probably get a lot of people to use it. But what would your killer feature be? What is the one feature you want next generation iPhone to have in order for you to pick one up, to upgrade your iPhone, switch back from another platform, or switch to uh, iOS having never used it before? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Next, let's go to user at gigatweet s at John Four Lakers with the Fire TV out. Do you think Apple will make the Apple TV less of a hobby, more of a serious iOS device to compete? So Apple sold millions of Apple TVs. They've always claimed it's just a hobby. Uh, we're hearing rumors that a new Apple TV is going to be coming very, very, very soon. Uh, it had been rumored that Apple was trying to compete with the cable companies and actually sort of kill them uh, by offering some sort of either original content uh, or offer the channels on their own without cable companies at all. Now we're hearing they're taking a different approach and maybe working with cable companies to create some sort of a la carte service that they get a cut of. So even as things stand right now, just as streaming devices, uh, I think the current Apple TV in its current state competes pretty nicely um, with the Fire TV. But where the Fire TV, I think, takes the edge. Um, first, applications. It's got an app store. You can download games. You can play it on your Fire TV. And of course, being able to do voice search is really awesome. If this was bizarre Gary Busey Fire TV commercial teach you anything, people really like to use your voice to search. And it's a lot easier than going boop, 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 to type every letter of what you're looking for. And that was my noise. Boop, boop, boop. I do think, though, the next generation Apple TV is coming. I think it's going to be a more full-fledged iOS device with its own app store, being able to support uh, third-party Bluetooth controllers or perhaps something that Apple does first party. I think it'll have games. Uh, so I think looking at what the Fire TV is doing is a very, a very similar model for what the next generation Apple TV uh, is going to be. So whether or not Amazon knew that and tried to beat Apple to the punch, or whether or not Amazon was just first to do it and Apple is going to be reacted to compete, uh, is yet to be seen. We'll take a break from the questions for one quick second to thank our friends and overall good peeps at Full Sail University. Listen, you can't go anywhere without playing in a game on your phone or downloading an app. If you want to be the next Flappy Bird creator, you got to learn how to do it. And the folks at Full Sail University have you covered. In their online mobile development bachelor's degree program, you can teach yourself and you can learn the skill set you need to take advantage of those crazy opportunities. It's like the next gold rush. In this degree, you'll learn both the programming and business side of mobile development so that you can take advantage. And you can do everything from concept, develop, and deploy, and really get to market your application. You'll explore all the advanced programming languages, visual framework, usability principles, and everything that goes into making an app for iOS and Android. The cool thing, too, is through Full Sail's Project Launchbox program, students receive a free MacBook Pro preloaded with all the industry software plus iOS and Android devices. Courses are delivered through Full Sail's immersive online education platform, which maximizes the capabilities of that Mac they just gave you, so you get a pretty immersive learning experience. To check it out, go to fullsail.edu slash technobuffalo to learn more. Again, it's fullsail.edu slash technobuffalo. Now back to the questions. And for the last question, user at non underscore Patel1 asked, hashtag ask the B, what's your favorite tech device of all time? That's a really tough one to answer because it depends on the time. But the first thing that came to mind, not something you guys expect, but the original BlackBerry Pearl, 
I absolutely love. And the question is not what's the best tech of all time. I think that always sort of depends on you know where you're at. So right now is probably the best tech of all time because tech advances. But I remember when I first got that BlackBerry Pro, I loved it. Push email was incredible. I loved that it. it was small and I could still type fast on it. it. Had two letters per key and I got really quick at it. The camera was usable. Uh, I could play music. It was thin. It was light. I loved that device. That was what I was using. Uh, the day the original iPhone came out in 2007, and I remember doing a size comparison of the initial iPhone, and I should have sort of given more heed to that moment because it was sort of the changing of the guard, going from sort of almost analog style controls to digital touch only uh, was a real big change. But maybe it was a simpler time for me, but I, honestly, I really loved that original BlackBerry Pro. It was sort of, I think, BlackBerry at its peak when they finally sort of got what the consumers wanted and focusing a little bit less on business. Uh, that was probably my favorite piece of tech of all time. Maybe a Nintendo, the original Nintendo too would probably be in there. The first thing at least came to my mind was a BlackBerry Pro. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I love doing these questions. Please keep them coming. Ask me whatever you want, whenever you want. Uh, just use hashtag AskTheBeast. Send it to Twitter, uh, at John for Lakers or at TechnoBuffalo, or again, every Tuesday on the site. Leave your questions in the comments. Anyway, guys, until next time, I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. What's up, everyone? Thank you for watching that video. If you want to see more of the latest and greatest tech news, you can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel by clicking the button right down below my pants region, or click on the buttons to your right to see more videos.